Hey guys, my name's Ariel. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you hit the subscribe button down below. Perhaps the bell to get a notification when I upload a new video. I'd love to see you stick around. Love to see some comments from everybody. Let me know how you like the videos. First I was going to talk about the first two weekly challenges that I have done because this is the first weekly challenge that I am posting on YouTube. I have posted a ton of other weekly challenges on my Facebook group. You can join my Facebook group and be like 24 weeks into it. Uh, it is called Journey to Low Waste and Sustainability. If you'd like to join that, I'd love to see you. I'd first like to talk about the first two weekly or week challenges we've had this year. This year was, or the first one was a garbage audit, which sounds gross. You go through your garbage, but it's not that gross. You can write down things as you put them in the garbage, so you can just have a piece of paper next to your garbage. You can wear either disposable gloves or work gloves if you don't want to use disposable like I didn't, um, or you can just wash your hands. Very, very simple. If you wanted to go through your garbage, see what you have the most of, see where you need to work on, is it paper towels, is it packages from Amazon, with my no buy, I have received a lot less packages from Amazon and I'm really happy about that because that's really subtracted in some of my garbage away, which is really nice. The second weekly challenge we had was check your carbon footprint, which I will link down below in the description where I had everybody check their carbon footprint at. If you'd like to check your carbon footprint just to see where you are at the beginning of the year, I highly recommend doing it. These are two things that you could do very, very easily so you can see how you adjusted your lifestyle this year. So the first weekly challenge I said was going to be bulk shopping. So I'm going to tell you how it works for my area and how it works for most areas. I haven't heard a lot of difference in how bulk shopping works so I think it'll be pretty much the same in all areas. So what you want to bring is some reused containers. This is my, my husband is allergic to dairy so we use this vegan butter. I highly recommend this butter. This holds a lot of food in it. <laughs> it actually had some bulk stuff in it, some bulk protein powder. I fill this up, and this usually fills up about two, two of my big mason, my quart size mason jars. I will also bring a mason jar, but this is much lighter. This only weighs 0.12 ounces, and this one weighs 0.97. So this one is very easy to use, and this one is clinky and gets in the way and all sorts of stuff. I do bring them occasionally, but I really, really prefer these, especially since I can get two quart jars for this one thing. We'll also reuse some other containers. This is a barbecue sauce container. I don't know what I'm going to put in this one. Probably spices or teas or herbs or something. I've been really trying to replace my spice cabinet, so this is probably going to be spices or herbs. How I remember to bring my stuff is I put everything in my tote bags. This is a tote bag that I used from a local business, and I also bought this really cute Marvel tote bag from a woman that my husband works with that makes these and sells them at our local farmer's market. I am obsessed with Marvel and Harry Potter, so I bought both a Marvel bag and a Harry Potter bag from her. I also really like supporting local businesses, so supporting someone who makes things by hands, hand, I would love to support. I do put my stuff right into the bag and I hang these on my door right in front of where I walk out of every time to get into my car. I hang them on my closet door, but you could just hang them on the back of your front door. So you remember to take them. And then I keep them in my car under my baby's car seat because I have to get into my baby's car seat before I go into the store. There are also apps and 
websites. Uh, I believe one of them is called Bagminder. So you could sign up for an app or a website that reminds you to grab your bag. You can also write it on your shopping list so that you remember to grab that from when you look at your shopping list. When I go to the store, when I know I'm going to the store, I look at my shopping list, I see how many of these containers I will need or how many mason jars I will need. And I put those in my bag or I make sure I have enough of them in my bag. I do also keep a extras in my car. I keep it in a box, a heavy duty plastic box. It is plastic that has clamps on it. And I want to make sure that I don't get hit in the head with anything if I were to ever get into an accident. And I want to make sure that my child is safe if we ever get into an accident. So all glass jars, all plastic pieces that I can fit go in there. I even have some extra bags and stuff, but most of my bags are just free falling around my, my car. Because if you get hit in the head with a bag, it's not going to hurt. But if you get into an accident and you get hit in the head with a mason jar, it's going to very hurt. So get yourself a heavy duty locking clamp box that you can tie down the box. That's my goal over the next couple of months is get that box tied down in my car. Get that box tied down and then the box won't go flying at you either. Safety tip. Before I go and get food from the bulk section, I start by going up to the cashier and having them weigh my, my mason jars or my little reused containers. I now know how much each of them weighs, so I don't have to go as often, but if I were to bring something that I don't know the weight of, I would first go to the cashier, I would have them weigh it, and then I would go get my bulk item. And then I would take it back to the cashier, where sometimes I do have to help the cashier figure out the price of my item, because they don't know how the bulk shopping works in their area with a container. So sometimes I have to subtract the weight of the container from the weight that I have of the whole thing and then that is the weight of what they have to put in. So sometimes I do have to help the cashier out quite a bit. So that's just the price I have to pay for being eco-friendly, I guess. <laughs> Working for all the stores sometimes. Um, one of the things I forgot to mention that I do when I get my food is I take a picture of the skew and the product. So if I get rice and the skew is 9154, I take a picture that it's rice and the skew number 9154 and I am able to take that up to the counter instead of writing on a piece of paper and having to recycle a piece of paper. Someone suggested you could also bring a Sharpie that has a clip on it, but I find that I'm going to lose my Sharpie or that that's just another waste. I can easily take a picture with my phone and there's no product that I have to bring behind. There's no pens that I have to bring behind. It's just my phone and it's just one picture that I have to delete and it's no big deal if I don't delete it. It's not a huge amount of waste. And if it is waste, it's just e-waste, which even though it can produces carbon, it's not as much as if I were using a permanent marker that's made out of plastic or using a piece of paper that has a plastic tab on the end of it or using a sticker that goes on my jar. I just take a picture and then I am able to tell the cashier what the number is without having to waste anything. It's very, very helpful, and it's by far one of the number one things I do when I'm bulk shopping that really cuts down on waste. You would be surprised how many pieces of paper you waste just buying your bulk shopping items. You usually get sugar, rice, beans, pantry items. I get lentils. I get all sorts of stuff. Powdered creamer, actually. Powdered milk that I make into powdered creamer, I should say, because I don't just find powdered creamer. So I found bulk powdered milk and I make my own creamer. You get bulk sugar, 
which is very nice. It's kind of expensive, but it is one of the concessions I make for zero waste is expensive sugar. I also get some trail mix. Oh, my herbs and my spices. I work for a hibachi restaurant and they are very kind to let me buy my bulk soy sauce and oils from them because they do it the same way that my local bulk store would out of five gallon tubs. So I just buy from them and it's a little bit cheaper for me. And it actually helps them because they are a local business that is newer and trying to grow. So it's a win-win for both of us. So that's it for bulk shopping, you guys. Those are all my tips and tricks. Help those cashiers out. Don't be mean to them if they don't know what they're doing. Bulk shopping is new. It is new to a lot of people when you bring your own containers. It hasn't been around that long, but remember to bring those containers. Even if you just bring buy one bulk item, you'd be surprised how much you will save on plastic. You may not save as much money. A lot of people say bulk shopping is cheaper, but I find it to be a bit more expensive than buying in plastic. But you will save the planet. And that to me is more important than saving a few dollars. I really only spend a few dollars more on each item rather than sugar. Sugar is the exception. I only spend a few dollars more on each item than I would on the item in plastic or at Costco. So I really try to buy those things from the bulk store and support my local bulk store because they are a new and up and coming store that deserves to have some support. All right, I am gonna do another video this week about my no buy update. I really didn't think I was going to be able to split this into two videos, but I feel like if I continue and give you an update on my no buy now, I'm not, it's just going to be an incredibly long video. So I'm just going to end it here and I will do another video this week on a no buy update and you guys can see how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. It's really only a couple weeks into this, so update, I'm doing pretty good, <laughs> but <sighs> Let's, we can talk more later about that. I'd really love to, to update you guys on what, what is going on with me and how that's going. If you guys want, ha have any questions or want to talk about anything or want me to do videos on anything, leave them in the comments. Remember to join my group on Facebook, Journey to Low Waste and Sustainability. Great group of people, wonderful, wonderful information. Uh, the weekly challenges are in conjunction with that, so you will see the weekly challenges there as well as here. I'm trying to create a cohesive mechanism. So, with that being said, I will see you hopefully Wednesday, and just remember to be kind to yourself. We'll talk to you later. Bye.